Telstar cost AT&T $50 million. Their plans to launch a further 40 were expensive and susceptible to technical glitches. The solution was to launch a satellite that would not move in and out of range. But to do that, scientists had not only to change the satellite's speed around the Earth, but also increase its altitude. In order to stay in orbit at a particular height above the Earth, you have to be traveling at the right speed. As you go further out, the speed has to change, and you go around the Earth more slowly. And it turns out that if you get out far enough, about 22,300 miles, then the speed at which you go means a spacecraft will stay above the same point in the Earth. The spacecraft will go around the Earth once per day, as underneath it the Earth rotates once per day, so the spacecraft stays in the same place. And this is basically what he's done with so-called geostationary satellites. This new breed of satellite no longer disappeared over the horizon, and there was an additional benefit. Typically, one could use three satellites to be able to send communications uh, to any point on Earth because of the visibility that geostationary altitude provides.